You know, this is a big reason why I am so excited for the Surface Duo 3. Guys, today we have an update to the Windows 11 Surface Duo 1. So if you guys are new to the channel, this is the first time checking out the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But starting off right away, Gus33000 is a legendary person on Twitter because he actually was able to get the uh, Windows, uh, I think it was Windows 10 or Windows 11, running on the Lumia phone. And once he picked up the Surface Duo 1, he was hard to work going ahead and getting it running on the Surface Duo 1, which he was able to do very successfully. I showed off in my on my channel, me going ahead and installing Windows 11 on the Surface Duo 1. And to be honest, it wasn't that difficult of a process. It took me like three or four hours. And once I was able to do it, it was kind of glitchy, kind of broken for me. I think I did a couple steps incorrectly. Again, like I said, it's not a hard process, but you have to be like so diligent while you're doing it when every single thing has to be perfect. If you mess up, you don't want to mess up, right? So with that being said, though, uh, right here, we do have some more updates for the Windows 11 running on the Surface Duo 1. So he was actually able to go ahead and get Wi-Fi and cellular connection running on the Surface Duo 1 while running Windows 11. So right here, let me go ahead and move this over to the left-hand side here. You guys can see it does say network and internet cellular sell your data right there so that was my biggest issue when i installed it was i wasn't able to get wi-fi working on this and i was like well it's cool to run windows 11 on this but if you don't have wi-fi then it kind of defeats the purpose of even running windows 11 but of course like always our man gus 3000 figuring that out so yes you can now run windows 11 on the surface duo one uh with having cellular and internet so it says use the sim for cellular data sim one and of course he is connected to cellular data and then the second image we have here is going to go ahead and show that he does have a network device under his network adapters and of course he also does have an ethernet uh right there not connected so it is running actual internet which is actually really freaking cool and i'll definitely say again like i said before you know this is actually insane. So he does have a version right there uh, that he went ahead and put out. So if you are following along, if you are installing Windows 11 on your Surface Duo 1, here is the updated version that you can go ahead and make sure you install the Windows 11 with the Wi-Fi slash cellular uh, connection. So you can actually go ahead and still use this as a cell phone while still using this, you know, as an actual windows 11 device and like i said this is what always gets me so excited about the surface duo 3 because again this guy does not work for microsoft this guy is not a top you know coder in the whole entire world obviously he's a very smart guy obviously he's a very amazing person but he's not like the number one in the world top coder and he was able to get this running windows 11. he was able to get it running and create such a simple tutorial even I went ahead and was able to install it, which I have no coding background at all, but I 100% have to give full shout out to Shane Craig. Again, my man is legendary. Make sure you check out Shane Craig, one of the best tech YouTubers out there. He went ahead and put a tutorial out on how to go ahead and install Windows 11. And his tutorial was so freaking amazing. Even I was able to install it. Like I said, I'm not a tech guy. I'm not, sorry, not a, um, I was got I am a tech guy. I'm not a, um, like, coding guy i did coding in high school c plus plus python um java but i'm not really too much into coding and command prompt stuff like that i love technology but I'm not too in detail of that and even he says in his tutorial he's not either but hey, he put out a pretty dang good tutorial so right here of course we do have this running on both sides of the display here and again like i said just you know more pictures more things of him going ahead and progressing this farther and farther he says the surface app see uh spans nicely across both displays i have to say so of course if you guys did not see my video earlier the surface duo or surface app 
I call it Surface Duo app. The Surface app did go ahead and get an update. So now that it does add the ability to find my device in the maps category, which is really freaking dope. Nonetheless, though, he is running the Surface app on the Surface Duo on Windows 11. So a little bit trippy there. Uh, but again, like I said, just a little update on other things. He does what I have right here, the CPU usage, all that kind of stuff. Keep in mind, again, uh, whenever, you know, when you're running Windows 11 on this device, you're pretty much just running Windows 11 on a virtual machine. Uh, so pretty much you dedicate certain resources. You can dedicate a certain amount of RAM, a certain amount of storage to your actual device, to um, your virtual machine running Windows 11. So it's pretty much all it is. If you guys have ever used virtual machines, Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux, whatever, it's just all virtual machines. Um, nonetheless, though, again, like I said, just more pictures of him going ahead and using this one screen has his documents open the other screen actually has a dialer and he was able to actually fix ish fix it he says fix in an ish i'm gonna guess it's not a hundred percent but he was able to go ahead and get it so he can make a call so overall wise very interesting very awesome updates very cool stuff i don't know how many more I'm, videos i'm gonna make about the windows 11 being updated just unless there's like a crazy update moving forward and something insanely happens i'm probably not gonna make too many more videos talking about his update processes because i think we're at this point he's now at the point where you can have cellular data wi-fi and fully run windows 11 operating system unless he does something insane i think the saga kind of is ended with the windows 11 so crazy 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 um again like i said it's on, unless something crazy happens probably not gonna be talking about it too 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 much more but again like i said still having windows 11 on this device is absolutely insane thank you guys for watching you guys join this video the likes coming down below i'll see you guys in the next one peace out